Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenny and on this channel, I typically uh, provide tutorials on the latest and greatest AI cues. If these are things you are interested in, then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. If you're a content creator, uh, if you're creating content on YouTube, then you know that creating eye-catching YouTube thumbnails can be time-consuming. But what if I could generate gaming in that two minutes? In this video, I'll show you exactly how I use God 3 and AI Power 2, uh, developed by Elon Musk and his team to design high quality thumbnails effortlessly. If you don't have any design skills, no problem. If you don't have subscription to Canva, no problem. Uh, so whether you're a beginner or you're a pro, this tool streamlines the process, helping you create attention grabbing thumbnails in seconds. So stick around to see how it works and how you can use it for your own YouTube channel. Let's get started. So the first step is to go to grog.com and um, I'm going to leave a link as well in the description box so that you can check it out. And when you go to grub.com, the interface is similar to ChatGPT. It's also similar to DeepSeek. Um, I've tried both tools and I love them. Uh, you can choose to sign in. Um, so if you wanted to sign in, you just click on the sign in button and then it takes you to like, the login page and then you click on continue with Google. You could also sell those as a product from X. You could also sign in using your X account. So if you're someone who already is on Twitter or X, then you can basically sign in with X. I'm just going to use my uh, Gmail account. So once you sign in, it brings you to this page. And there are a number of things you can do on this page, okay? So you could either upload a file or you could basically like just leave it as auto. Or you can click on visualize, which basically display results as images generated by the model. Or you can do search and it will show search results with web snippets, exports, and links. So basically, if you want to use a search and you type in something, it's, it's just going to search the entire web including things that have been posted on X that are public and will also provide you with links as well. I think that's really cool. And if you just want to do like the model only, then it would provide raw responses from the model without tools like search or image animation. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to use a visualize icon here. So sometimes uh, when you generate this image, it's going to include human beings in the photo. And I don't want to like include human beings in the photo. Okay, so I'm just gonna like include in here that I did not include human beings in the photo. My channel is a face dash channel and I don't want it to include human beings in the in the photo. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Uh, so this 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 is cool. I think I like this just because it sort of is giving me an interface that looks like um a design interface or a place where you could basically design like your your thumbnails or your art. I really don't think I like the first one. I don't like the second one either. The second one seems like I'm promoting Grok 3. Um, I think this goes better. See some follow-on prompts that you could use. So I'm just going to click on with Barry Barnes Colors and see what comes up. And then I'm going to keep more defining from there. So what's good about this is that if you don't even have, um, let's say, come back to edit later on then you couldn't literally like play around with it but no i i really like this but this really doesn't show exactly what i'm looking for so i think i'll just go with this one for now and then um i'm just gonna download this so what i'm gonna do right now is you could share on x or you could literally just save so i'm just gonna click on save that is it to be honest, um, in terms of what I think about this tool, I think it's great. I had some challenges in the beginning when I was trying to generate the exact thumbnail I wanted. So I think that you have to like add some things like in terms of like things you really don't want to see in the model. So if you don't want to see this in human beings or you don't want to see, because the thing about AI generated photos is that like sometimes it may include things that you have access to include. So if you don't want to see those things in the in the model, then just in your photo, then just make sure that you're being specific about it and mentioning it in your query and in your prompt, just so it doesn't include that. But otherwise, I think this is great. Um, it'll take a while to get used to like um, in refining the prompts and just making sure that I'm getting the light prompts for my um, for my images. But I'll say uh, try it out and you know what you think about it. The good thing is that this is free, so you can try it out as much as you want. I know there's a limit on the number of pounds you can enter, but I think this is cool. Um, yeah, so let me know how it goes with you. Uh, for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.